Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I wanted to do a little reaction here to the Joker. The latest trailer, the final trailer that they're putting out. And I have to say, I think this is... It's a good trailer. They're not really um, showing too much. They're not really going, you know, all loud and trying to spoil everything. Oh, look how great our movie is. You look at all the best parts. See, that's why I won't be watching... Um, the Star Wars trailer that they put out about a week or two ago. That's why I'm not going to be watching um, a lot of the trailers that they put out. Uh, most of the time, when it's a movie that I'm really interested in seeing, I'm not going to go for it, basically, because it's, it's you know, it's ridiculous. They, they ruin things, they ruin key scenes. I like to go in blind, I like to go in fresh. But I figured, you know what, let me check out this trailer. They did a pretty good job with the first one. Now, you know, it's all about mood a lot of the time. Sometimes, like, I, I get taken by surprise. And I know the first trailer that I watch of The Joker, I said some pretty, like, mean things about it. I, I, you know, I didn't really take the time to say that, you know, the movie looks like it's going to be good. I sat around kind of and said, oh, my God, another Joker movie, another movie with The Joker you know, uh, so, I mean, that that is to be expected, and I kind of still stand by that. I am so sick to death of all the reboots, let alone that every other movie that gets released nowadays is a superhero movie or something like that. You know, and I always end up liking the ones that most of the time that most people are not even that crazy about. You know, or like vastly criticized like Venom or something like that, you know. So I'm always like the odd man out. But once in a while, we all come together and agree on certain movies. Such as, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home, for example. Or Infinity War. Like, those are good movies that we can pretty much all agree on that are pretty good. So, the one thing is though... I'm not that happy about, you know, Ben Affleck not being Batman. I really enjoyed him being Batman. But this is a whole different thing. We're going batman list this time around. I don't even think, you know, unless they're planning a big surprise, maybe. Uh, this would be an interesting movie to do, like, a Batman reveal. But it doesn't look like this. This looks pre-Batman. Uh, pretty sure of that. The one thing that really strikes me is Joaquin's Phoenix's uh, performance. I mean, it goes without saying, the types of things that this guy has done on the silver screen pretty much speak for themselves. Go check out any Joaquin Phoenix movie and you'll probably see a great performance. Walk the Line comes to mind almost immediately. The way this guy emulates characters and personalities such as Hero, you know, when he's playing one of the most famous comic book villains of all time. Now, there's a few things here, you know, I am, you know, I'm not crazy about the makeup. Now, I get it. This is kind of the Joker feeling out process, you know, and he's not really, you know, going to probably have that paint if they decide to feature Joaquin Phoenix in future movies and everything. But th this is kind of, you know, I, 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 I am looking forward to this movie. Let me just start off by saying that. Let's do all the positives and then we'll get to the negatives. I am really looking forward to seeing this movie. Joaquin Phoenix is going to do a great job. The, you know, the things on it that, that, that you see in this trailer, like how society is just breaking him down. You know, he can't take it. He's talking to the psychologist. She's not helping. Um, you see that he's like playing with the little kid on the bus, you know, peekaboo and everything, and making funny faces. And the woman turns around and says to leave the kid alone when all he's doing is trying to make the kid laugh. He's a guy that's already unstable and society is rejecting him. Now, the one thing that's really going to get me to see this movie above anything else is that everyone's complaining about it. And they're saying, oh, this movie's going to cause people to be violent. You know, certain current events recently you know, are called into question and people are saying, you know, it's not like there's superhero movies with violent characters uh, every single month, basically. You know, you, you could get this idea from basically any superhero movie. 
but you know, I, I, I guess it's 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 that time time of the month, time of the year, time of the week where it's time for journos to target specific movies or television shows or video games, what have you. Take your pit at what type of media it is and the journals are going to be after it. So that alone kind of makes me want to see it because I like the controversy that's already starting to accumulate around the movie. So it, it goes without saying. Seeing Joaquin Phoenix rise to power and, you know, people are going to start to follow him and, you know, and be like him. And we kind of saw this a little bit on Gotham with Jerome where there were copycats and people wanted to emulate him. So that is, you know, obviously they kind of drew a little bit from that. You don't really see so much of the influence it, in like the comics or in the movies you know joker kind of has his henchmen but people are not really you know being inspired by him that much but it's an interesting cult-like approach to it um now the only thing is what i don't like about this movie is what i said before it's like another reboot it's going back to the beginning it's pre-batman now we've never really um explored the joker's past and I guess you could kind of consider like this is just their own version of the Joker's past. I'm fine about that. Like I said, I'm open-minded to changes. If you want to do a little something in a movie that's different, you know, they they do it all the time. You, you know, they even do it in the comics. Like, like Ultimate Spider-Man is different than the original Spider-Man that was introduced in, you know, in Amazing Fantasy. You know, uh, so it it's okay to make changes because you know even the it even happens in the comics so when people criticize changes and little alterations to characters i don't get too bent out of shape about them unless they're like vastly different and you know and unappealing then they they reserve the right to be criticized but aside from that i'm totally fine with that it's just you know we're we're, we're going back we've, we've seen the joker we've done this and this is you know yet another joker you know jack nicholson um keith ledger jarrett leto i mean we just picked a joker three years ago four years ago whatever it was suicide squad was released in 2016 but i believe leto was cast in 2000 yeah he's cast in 2015 so you know and I wasn't thrilled with his look. I, I understood kind of where they were going for with that. They kind of wanted to give him a little bit more of a gangster look. But they might have gotten a little bit carried away with the gold teeth and everything. But, you know, it wasn't really a bad performance. Was it my preferred Joker performance? No, my preferred Joker uh, performance will always be Jack Nicholson. But Joaquin Phoenix definitely seems like he's a worthy contender. It's just, to me, Jack Nicholson was comic book perfect, um, you know, and of course, you know, before anyone slides in the comment, there, Mark Camel in the animated series, but, you know, we're talking about cinematics, we're talking about the movies, not just, you know, voice actors, we're talking about, you know, mannerisms and everything, because remember that, the difference is, be between Mark Hamill is he never got to fully act it out you know move his arms around make the facial expressions so people don't really think about that Jack Nicholson Heath Ledger and Jarrett Lowe they were responsible for not only the voice of the Joker but they were actually playing the Joker actually stepping into his shoes actually wearing the suit and wearing the makeup so you know I know a lot of people like to talk about Mark Hamill, but there's there's a reason why sometimes he's left out of certain conversations because voice acting is definitely a different approach to actually acting in a film. That's not a knock at Hamill. He does a great voiceover, but you know I, I think we have to sort of put an asterisk next to Mark Hamill's name when we talk about great Joker performances. It's a great performance, but a good voice performance. It's you know remember. It's kind of different. Just as stage acting is different than acting in a movie. You know, there's differences to different styles of acting. You know, there's different genres. There's different approaches just as in music or anything else when it comes to performance arts. So, I, I'm looking forward to it. This is a must-see. This movie is coming around, um, coming out around my birthday. So, this is a perfect birthday gift 
Yes, I know it's another superhero movie, and, you know, it's like I really don't kind of feel like, you know, diving back in so soon, you know, because we just... I mean, guys, do you realize not only do we have Endgame, not only do we have Spider-Man Far From Home, you know, and Captain Marvel, which, uh, you know, that still r remains to be viewed by these eyes, uh, but... You know, I mean, like, man, what a barrage of superhero movies. It's like, can we get a little bit of a break? Can we get a little bit of a breather so we can actually digest the ones that we just saw? But, you know, whatever, it's DC. We haven't seen something from DC all year, pretty much, right? There was no Batman. There was no Superman. So, you know, I, I guess it's a welcome change. And, you know, like I said, I, I got to get a few digs in there, but I am looking forward to it. And I think that Joaquin Phoenix is going to do a great job in the role. And it's going to be really interesting once the movie comes out that we'll be able to compare his performance uh, to the other great Jokers of the past for years to come. So, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the analysis and my reaction to the trailer. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you get all notifications when I post all my new videos. And, guys, I'll see you next time.